CompTS Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 26 through 30 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great. Let's begin. Question 26. An organization requires all employees to read and acknowledge an acceptable use policy before accessing company systems. This policy outlines what behaviors and activities are permitted or prohibited while using corporate devices and networks. Which of the following types of security controls does this policy best represent? The answer is D. Preventive. An acceptable use policy is considered a preventive control because it establishes clear rules and expectations to stop risky or unauthorized behavior before it happens. Preventive controls are designed to reduce the likelihood of security incidents by guiding user actions and enforcing safe practices from the start. In this case, the policy helps ensure employees understand what is acceptable when using company systems, minimizing the chances of accidental misuse or intentional violations. Question 27. A company is reviewing access levels for its internal tools. As part of this process, the IT manager decides that only department leads will be given administrative rights to their team support software, while all other employees will use standard user accounts. Which of the following security principles is being applied in this scenario? The answer is D. Least privilege. The principle of least privilege means giving users only the minimum level of access needed to do their jobs. Limiting administrative rights to department leads helps reduce the chance of accidental changes or unauthorized actions. This approach improves overall security by ensuring that elevated access is only granted when absolutely necessary. Question 28. A security team is preparing for an internal audit by compiling a list of known risks who is responsible for managing them, and the level of impact each risk could have before triggering a response. Which of the following is the most appropriate tool to document this information? The answer is C. Risk Register. A risk register is a document or system used to record and track identified risks, their potential impact, who is responsible for them and what thresholds or responses are in place. It helps teams clearly define responsibilities and maintain visibility over known threats. Risk registers support consistent risk management practices, prioritize actions based on severity, and provide a reference point during audits or security reviews. They are also useful for communicating risk status to leadership and planning for mitigation strategies. Question 29. A security administrator plans to reconfigure access permissions for a group of users in the company's file storage system. Since the changes could impact user productivity and system security, which process should the administrator follow to ensure proper documentation and oversight? The answer is D. Change Management Procedure a change management procedure ensures that planned changes to systems, such as modifying user permissions, are reviewed, documented, and approved before implementation. This process helps reduce the risk of unintended consequences, keeps teams aligned, and creates a clear record for accountability. It also allows time for testing and communication to affect the users, making system updates more controlled and reliable. Question 30. A company is launching a new initiative that invites external security researchers to test its public-facing application for vulnerabilities. Participants will be rewarded for any valid security issues they find and report. Which of the following best describes this type of program? The answer is B. Bug Bounty. A bug bounty program is a formal initiative that encourages independent security researchers to find and responsibly disclose vulnerabilities in an organization's systems. These programs offer monetary rewards or other incentives for valid findings and are typically focused on public-facing assets. 
Bug bounties help organizations identify and fix issues before malicious actors can exploit them, often extending the reach of internal security teams. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.